what's up you guys my name is Vivian from the paper letter blog and you're watching another one of my outgoing mail videos now I usually when I do outgoing mail videos um, I do process videos where you can see exactly what I make and how I make it but I also make a lot of mail off camera and I wanted to find a way to share that with you as well so a little while ago I started I think I've done two so far um, a video where I literally make a tiny clip of the end result before I close the envelope and send it away. Very often I forget and I have closed the envelope and then I realize I forgot to take a video. So it's not all of the mail I sent out. And I also did not take extra videos of um, mail that I did for a video. So this is not all of my outgoing mail, but it's just a, a small selection that I thought would be fun to show you guys. Um, so I'm going to take you through months of mail with small clips <laughs> oh yeah by the way that's a cat litter box yep i am aware that that's in, in the shot that's actually noose's cat litter box it's not always there it's just there now because we have a tiny kitten in the attic which is where her litter box normally is and we're keeping them separate for now so they can both get accustomed to the situation so yeah cat litter box <laughs> um but what I wanted to say is that I know this video is not, the, the style of filming is not my usual style. I know that for a lot of people it goes too quickly or it is very messy. I even um, got some feedback about it being very like wobbly and moving around a lot. And I wanted to quickly address that because um, like I said, this is just a way for me to show some outgoing mail and I'm not going to change that. And the reason why I will not change that is because all of these videos or most of these videos, as you can see, are taken at night or usually when I'm in a crafty mood. And when I'm crafting, I don't want to worry about having to clean up my desk and <laughs> making a professional video. So these videos are really non-professional, just taken with bad lighting and I don't know, bad camera angles, but that's just because I want to focus on my crafty night <laughs> and not my YouTube channel. So this is just like a little behind the scenes, I guess. And I hope you will enjoy. I will now turn you over to the voiceover and I'm gonna take you through all of the meals. <laughs> oh, by the way, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, don't forget to follow my channel if you haven't already. You can also hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first person to know about my new videos and check out all of the links down below. <laughs> Okay, so the first piece of mail you see in the background is a uh, mail I made for my pen pal Jenny. Um, I used book pages from one of those botanical books to turn into a little, like, it's actually two envelopes and I glued the flaps together. So then you have like a little pocket book, envelope pockets, I don't know. And then um, on the front I used purple, my purple distress oxide, I will link that down below. And on the back I used uh, my pink distress oxide together with a... Um, what is it called? A stencil. <laughs> and then I decorated that some more with some stamps and uh, some v uh, botanical vintage book, book illustrations. Well, I cannot talk. <laughs> this is going great. The second piece of mail I'm showing you, as you can see, this is um, after a long crafty night. You can see my tea in the back. Um, this one went to Anya in Germany. This was a subscriber mail. We have my little letter on the left. The front I also made with distress oxides. I tried something new that I also want to um, do for a video one time. I put distress oxides into an embossing folder and then I embossed it with my die cutting machine and then you had the, um, <laughs> you know, the design and the colors on the front, which was really, really cool. And then I speckled some gold shimmer spray on the front and I die cut the word for you out of some glitter paper which looks so cool so i was really really happy if you can if you look closely i don't know if you can see it in that light but there was a heart shape on the front this one went to my pen pal laura it's very similar to the one i made for beckett uh, i will link that video down below as well um it's a little ring flip and this is a 
uh, a shaker that I made, I used a couple of sequins, but I also used, as I'm trying to show you now, a lot of paper scraps. So these are paper punches that I punched out with a circle punch when I needed to punch a hole in something, and then I just saved those scraps and I turned them into little paper confetti, which is way more eco-friendly than sequins. I thought that was kind of fun. And then um, that's a, a flip, no, a little tag, I mean, with some uh, ribbon samples and that's a little decorated tag with an envelope on the back. I punched all of these out with my die cutting machine. I had like a die cutting knife. And then the last one has a bunch of doilies and some stickers and then my letter on the back. So if you saw the video where I made the box for Beckett, you can see it's kind of similar, but still uh, really different. This is an old one. I forgot to include this one in the last video. This is my decorated gift bags. I will. I have made a video about that as well. I will link that down below. And this is a subscriber meal, I'm pretty sure. I think this one went to Annie. Actually, I know this one went to Annie. I made a die, like an embellishment. Yeah, Annie, there it says Annie. That's my letter. Cute little envelope. These are all very, very recent. These are all last month. And these are all the goodies I included. And this one went to Marika, which is a pen pal of mine. Um, like I said, I did not film all of my mail uh, because not all of my mail is crafty. Whether it's pen pal letters or PR box replies, not everything I do is crafted. Sometimes I will just do a letter with some goodies like I did in this one. Um, but I don't usually make a video of that because it's not that fun. Oh, and the, <laughs> the stationery I used for this letter is from La Papier, the letter writing paper subscription. I will also link that down below. This one went to Portia. I'm actually, I think it has not arrived yet. So Portia, if you're looking, look away. <laughs> but I also made a video about this. It's a mini Project Life card flip book. I had to lay it out because otherwise it would not fit in the envelope. It's too fat. And then these are some of the other goodies I included. I, like I said, I made a video on that. I will upload that once it has been received because I don't want to spoil too much. And then these cute stickers, I don't know, they match the envelope quite well. This one was for a swap I did. This is actually the swap resend because um, I uploaded a, an envelope decorating video uh, for an envelope that came back to me, sadly. <laughs> and then the swap came back to me, but before it came back, I made a new one. So, oh yeah, I tried to show you the goodies with one hand, which is very difficult. I'm just putting that on my camera. Like I said, this is nowhere near professional. But okay, this swap, like the first swap came back, but it came back too late. So I already made a new one. And this is the one I made this time. I made another loaded gift bag. I made a video for the first one. A loaded gift bag, this time with Maggie Holmes like vintage uh, supplies, such as Project Life cards, because I really love using Project Life cards. And then these are some of the goodies I included. Uh, some of that washi type that's uh, that has like a protective backing so you can very easily uh, share it. This is so cool. It says you are so <laughs> amazing um, And I actually hand stitched that which was so much work, but it looks really really cute So that's a die that cuts out that little hoop and that you are so amazing and then you can stitch it yourself and then I included a bunch of goodies such as those wooden sh shapes and some stickers, yeah. And in the background, as I said, you can see the vintage Maggie Holmes because I now have two types of um, Project Life cards from Maggie Holmes. I have the flea market and then I secondhand purchased the other collection she has. I forgot the name, but it's also kind of like vintage. It looks a lot like flea market. I included some cards for her as well because they're really cute to use for mail. I have a few Project Life card um, projects that I want to do for a video. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Oh, and I also did, again, the gold speckles because that just looks really cool. This is one I also showed in a video that is, again, not yet online. So this is a little spoiler. Um, this is a one pocket flip book I made. 
cute little die cut. And like I said, I do also show that in a video, but I cannot upload it yet because I made two for two different subscribers and it hasn't, they haven't arrived yet. And this one went to Sarah, which she's an Instagrammer I follow and she sent me email one time, just a, like a random act of kindness. And I decided to send her something back. It did take me six months to reply though, so yikes. And then I, I, I have all of these super cute stickers. It's very dark, so it's not really focusing. All of these super cute stickers and I want to use them all because I get a lot from pen pals and from subscriber mail, but I cannot use them all. So sometimes I just like to include them as a gift. Although it does pain me to give away cute stickers, but yeah. <laughs> this one went to Brittany. I only sent it out a week ago, so I don't think it has arrived yet, but um, I don't know if you're watching Brittany, look away. I made another one, another exploding envelope. I did do a video, not on this one, but on another one, a Minnie Mouse themed one, vintage Minnie Mouse themed one. I will link that down below as well. But if you want, want me to do another video on this, uh, feel free to let me know. So this basically is all decoration and then the meal tag on the right and a ton of goodies in the middle. And then you can close it like that. But I did send it in a separate envelope because I was kind of afraid of it opening in the mail. And that's just the, the, the I decorated the back as well, you never know. And then, ta-da, it opens. <laughs> I think, I always think that looks kind of cool. So I had a lot of trouble decorating this one. I felt a little bit anxious because um, Brittany also has a YouTube channel, which you may or may not know. If you don't know yet, really go check her out. She's amazing. Um, and um, she also has a YouTube channel and she opens these video, these mails for a video. And for some reason, I do these videos all the time, but sending someone something that was going to be in a video kind of scared me. So I now know how you guys feel. I got kind of, I, I kept thinking like, is this good enough? Well, but yeah, so I know how you feel now. It's not nice, but please don't worry as much as I do. Um, this is for a swap I did. It's a summer themed flip book. It's not like I never work with bright colors. So this was a real a challenge for me, but in the end, I quite like how it turned out. And I made a little uh, closure with um, a split pin. Yes, this one I still have to put on the mail as I'm uh, doing this voiceover, but it has to go to someone in the Netherlands. So that should be quite quick. Um, this one is going to Liz. She sent me subscriber mail sometime last year. Yeah, in October, she sent me the um, Halloween themed meal, which is really, really cool. And I decided to reply to everyone from 2018. I said a dozen times I wasn't going to reply to everyone. And then I was about to take the mail out and I decided, okay, what the heck, I'm going to reply to everyone. Kind of crazy. I cannot reply to everyone from 2019 though. <laughs> so this is just 2018. So these are, uh, this is my letter at the bottom. It's again, La Papier paper because that's so cute. And then two times Pip sticks sticker sheets. A pretty paper scrap and then a um, yeah that's just a, a card I die cut so she can use that for a meal of her own and a doily and a bunch of other goodies I included that little envelope is also die cut and I think it's so cute oops I didn't realize this was already the end of the video um, I hope you enjoyed this don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and a comment if you like and I will see you for a new video very very soon Okay, bye-bye.